so happy, but all four answers are out there. When you're ready, we're done. You're happy, all you're doing is keeping yourself. You don't know how to do it, and not letting yourself think about it. about another five minutes <laughs> then I'm going to collect them and we're going to go on to what it is that we are doing today. One for Leo. Uh, I got the bottom too. Though. You know why you got them? Oh, you can't do that. You either have to have common denominator, so you have to get rid of one of them. Oh, you can't you can stop this. I like how you were putting stuff together, but you can't leave anything over here and get it. So what I did is put a one under here. Then it's going to be the one under one. Oh, did you figure it out? Yeah, I forgot the one under here. Oops. Okay, you got about two and a half minutes. Hold on, what are you doing? Oh, any, any equivalent form, just don't do 3.7. That's the only thing. Other than that, any equivalent form is acceptable. All right. I would say right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how come you didn't tell me I did wrong? Wait, you did it wrong. You did have a three, wrong. You're kidding me. I just fixed that. It's only the bottom step. It's not 11 over 3, it's 11 over 4. When I reduced it, I just reduced it. Oh. It's not the whole thing. So that's okay. 2 and 2.75 cast. Is that what you got? That's what yeah. 2.75. Oh, so that yeah. So I had it for. Yeah. Okay, so I had it right. Oh, 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 oh. I had 30 over 
If you have finished, you have checked all four of your answers and they are all good, or you have found your mistake in them. And I won't do it this way for all of them, but the equation ones I thought should be easy enough for you to be able to handle it, that even if you made a mistake. If and when you are finished, I will come take your packets. You're not holding on to them. Don't be offended, but you won't. You won't. Yep. Yeah. I would. I'm not really sure. Put her name on it. I did. Except I don't. I can't name on any of the flags. Bio. I'm always on the Don't start. Don't even. Don't start. Not bad. Not bad. Are you done? Yeah. Is your name on it? Mm -hmm. Are you done? Is your name on it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully my leg doesn't start hurting. I mean, it's not as warm as it was before, but... But it's still nice. I think it's nice. I don't know if it's nice. What's your time? You're only four seconds away from the record. Kwame was like half a second. 107. I know. But the hallway was hot when I got here this morning. I was glad my room was kind of cold. It felt nice when I was on the hall because I was going to stay outside. Ah! Yeah. 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 Put the two answers down and put them on the list. Put them on the list. Put not so long. Until I get out of school. I know school. school. Everybody else is in the night. Including Leo. Can I go to get? All right, you guys. So I told you last week that we had done the last brand new topic, and that is true. Um, you'll notice that today the paper that you have in front of you says step functions. We've done them already. Remember, those are the ones that look like steps when they when we graph them. We only did them a couple weeks ago. We did them the day of the math test. When you were in here for a couple hours, this is actually an easier version I think, than what we did before. For my mental note for next year is I think I'm actually going to do this one first and then that lesson because this one I think is just even a smidge easier, really. So, step functions or one whose out outputs stay constant and then jump to a new constant value are critical to a number of real world applications. Many times these types of functions arise in the areas of business. Number one, an electrician works at a job site at a rate of $40 an hour for any portion of an output time. Is this something we already have? No. Yeah. Maybe that's why there were so many. Is there anybody else who doesn't have one that's a step function at the top? Oh. That's why there are so many. Yeah. That's why there are so many. Because it got all jumbled up. Anybody else? The rest of you go. Okay. 
Um, an electrician. No. Did you whisper it? No. I already know. They just blew me in. They all heard it and I didn't whisper. I just keep trying to clearly say it loud enough for me. An electrician works at a job at a rate of forty dollars per hour or any portion of an hour. In other words, he will charge you forty dollars as soon as he comes up to the first hour. And then forty dollars for the second hour, etc. 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 For a few amount, the electrician charges C in dollars as a function of the number of hours he worked. Okay, so as soon as he gets there, what's he charging you? Forty dollars. He's charging you forty dollars. Does it matter if he's there five minutes? No. Does it matter if he's there 55 minutes? No. How much is he charging you? $40. Okay, so get your writing utensil. $40. What are we counting by up the axes? We're counting by 20. So $40 would be? Um, two up. Two up. That says at the first hour. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how long he is there until that first hour. Oh, it's these things? It's these things. Oh, what in the world? Wait, I got that backwards, don't I? I'm not sure. I don't know. No, I'm not writing anything. No, because it's coming. No, it's right. That's right. Yeah. Because if he's there 15 minutes, he's going to charge you $40. If he's there 25 minutes, he's going to charge you $40. doesn't matter what you get there, he's going to charge you $40. When is that $40 going to switch? Uh, the, next the next time. So if he's there an hour and five minutes, how much are you paying him? Uh, You're paying him $80. So we have to make that jump. So actually, this one can be closed also. But the next one has to be 60, 80, open. Wait, why would it be open? Why would it be closed? Oh, because one hour, he's not charging you. He's only charging you $40. If it's exactly one hour, he's charging you 40 bucks. The minute you get one hour and one minute, what's he doing? Now he's charging you $80. So that one is going to probably be the, uh, well, no, it's going to go like that the whole way. It's dumb, though, because an electrician, how long it takes based on that. So he could be done to sit there for four hours to make extra money. Why would you sit there for four hours? Possible. Money. Possible, but we're going to hope that people we're going to hope that people are more honest than that. However, that's also why a lot of times somebody will take off and stay home while they are working. Yeah. Just, you know, to be sure. Okay, so then what happens at two hours and five minutes? 40, 80, 120, okay, so, 120, can you finish this? That's why you pay by job and not by hour. Do you get paid by job and not by hour? Yeah. Oh. It's a nice little sign in your front yard. I know. I like it. Took a while. It? Yeah, I mean. Oh. Good job. <laughs> it's actually MK Landscapes. Oh my gosh. Hey, I like it. I like it. All right, are we good? Everybody got a graph? Okay, let's keep going. So, how much does he charge for working three and a half hours? Circle the point on the graph that shows his answer. So, three and a half hours, how much money? Here's three and a half. 160. 160. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, circle it on your graph. Step functions are rather simple because they consist of multiple horizontal lines. When reading their formula definitions, it's important to pay attention to the domain intervals. What's that mean? What's the domain intervals mean? The axis. 
you need to pay attention to what X's it is that we're talking about. Can I get rid of this and slide it up? Sure. Everybody ready for that? Okay. Okay. A step function is defined using the piecewise formula f of x equals 2 between 0 and 3, 5 between 3 and 5, and negative 4 between 5 and 10. Okay, step one. Evaluate the following. Okay, so what does it mean? We did this a long, long, long time ago, but you should still know. What do those numbers in the parentheses mean? Yeah, it means the x numbers, right? So when I find function f, which is this, the value when x is 2.7. Okay, so which interval is x 2.7 in between? It's in between 0 and 3. Yes? 2.7 is in between here. So what's the function's value going to be? 2. The answer is 2. Where is 5? Well, between 5 and 10. Why can't I say it's between 3 and 5? Because it doesn't equal it. It doesn't equal it until down here. So since this one includes 5, the value at 5 is negative 4. What is it at 3 and a half? 3 and a half is between 3 and 5, so its answer is 5. And what about 0? What is the point of this? Just being able to read it. And making sure you know how to understand that. Okay, graph f of x on the grid to the right. Okay, so from x equals 0 to x equals 3. So we're going to start here, we're going to end here. What is our answer? From 0 to 3, our answer is 2. So close or open circle on 0? Closed. Close your open circle on three. Open, one, two, three, and then you make the line in between. Okay, now from three to five, where is my line? It's up at five, okay. Close your open circle on three. Closed. One, two, three, four, five. Close circle, three, four, five. Open circle on five? And line in between. And where am I for the last part? Negative four. Yes, negative four. And both of them are closed circles, yes? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Negative four. There you go. Okay, so it wants us to state the domain. What does that mean? Yeah. The x numbers. Okay. What are our x numbers? Where do they start? Zero. They start at zero. Do they include zero? No. Yes. Where do they go to? Uh, do they include ten? Yeah. Okay. So you have two choices. Zero to ten. Or Now, range is different this time. We can't write range either of those two ways. How come? Because there's only specific. Yeah. This includes everything between 0 and 10. So it includes 1 and a half. It includes 2 and a half or 3 and a half, 2.7. It includes every single number in between there. Do your range values touch every single number? They only touch how many? 30. What are they? Uh, two, two, five, and negative four. That's literally what you do. Two, five, negative four. You have to list them because they're not continuous. Because they are just single entities, they have to get listed as such. Curvy. Yeah. Curvy, grabby things. Good Lord, you guys. I can't even. I can't even. They're it's curvy, like you're, slippery. I feel like you're not regressing. Not, not moving forward. I feel like we're moving backwards. Curvy, grabby things. I'm just now noticing. What did they be curvy, slippery? Because they have the. Curvy, grabby things. Yeah. 
technically, one that would be a correct. All right, step functions are used in engineering to signify when we have changes in constant rate. These functions can give rise to then two status in their function. A pumping station is draining a reservoir with a set of pumps that drains the water at a rate of 250 gallons per hour. After five hours, the additional pumps are turned on such that they pump at an overall rate of 650 gallons per hour for the next seven hours. Draw a graph of the pump rate function on the grid above. Okay, so what's that look like? And put down the the first hour is 250. Then what? It stays at a rate of 250 for how long? Okay, now you're not graphing how much water is being pumped out or anything like that. You're just graphing the rate. So it starts at 250. Does it include 250? Yes. Technically, at time zero, is it 250? No, no, but after that it is. So I'm going to go like this. And how long does it go for again? Five hours? Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay. After five hours, what happens? Okay, so what's it doing at exactly five hours? Stop it. Okay. So at exactly five hours, is it still 250? No. What does it say? After five hours. After five hours. So at exactly five hours, is it still 250? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a closer. Okay. Now, after five hours, meaning five hours in one minute, even five hours in 30 seconds, what does it jump to? 600. Why didn't they just start at 600 gallons? I don't know why. Maybe it's not ready to handle the pressure. I have no idea. How long is it going? Seven hours. Seven hours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How's that? Looking good? Okay, now you all just kind of paused and watched for me, but did you really need me for that? No. No. Ah. Yes. Maybe the end point thinking a little bit, but the graph itself, once you realize it's going to be a step function, you, you kind of have an idea of what it's going to look like in your head. Okay, how many total gallons of water are pumped Remember out of the reservoir empty. over the 12 hour period? How are we going to figure that out? We do math. We do math. Okay, tell me what math to do. Actually, you know what? You do it. Okay. What? So what one? For the first five hours, Water is pumped out at a rate of 250 gallons an hour. So think about how do I figure out how many gallons that is total over that five hours? Question number B or letter B. You are, but I'm kind of trying to help you a little because some of you are sitting there going. Uh -huh. Letter B. Letter B. Do I have to have a formula? No, no, I don't have a formula. I just did it. Oh, this is easy. Yeah, this is easy. Should be. I hope. Five thousand two hundred. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four thousand. That's five thousand two hundred. Okay, so how much is over the first five hours? A thousand. And how did we get it just to make sure we're all on the same oh, track? 250 times two. five. Never mind. 250 times five is 1,250 gallons. Okay, but that's not all, is it? Because then we jump to 600 gallons times how many hours? Seven, Seven which should give me 4,200. 
And what do I do with those two numbers? Add them. And get 5,450 gallons total. Yes? Good. Okay. The reservoir originally contained 8,250 gallons of water. How much does it contain after only five hours? If the water, if water is only pumped up, how much does it contain after five hours? If water is only, oh, so there's no water coming in. I was like, what? Good. What is the word reservoir? So it started with 8,250 gallons. After five hours, how much water is left in it? Why? How'd you get it? Yep, 8,250. Take away only the, far, the first five hours. So that's 1,250. That's 7,000 gallons. Right? Now, engineers want to turn off the pump when the reservoir reaches a level of 2,000 gallons. Will they need to turn off the pump during this 12-hour time period? Figure it out. No. no. Figure it out. Figure it out. Okay. They want to shut off the pump when there's 2,000 gallons in there. Will that happen in this 12-hour time period? Hmm. Good question. They want to shut off the pumps when 2,000 gallons are in there. No. Will that happen no. during this time period? No. It won't. Mr. I'm hearing lots of no's. Miss oh. Rowe. Oh. No, it won't happen. But Miss Rowe, yeah. I think the real question that we all want to know is what is a reservoir? I, I think so. most of them know what a reservoir is. I don't know what a reservoir is. Okay, so when we're done, I will Google reservoir and show you. Isn't that where they But can we first get through this? No. Yes, we can, because no. I can't turn that off and still have it be here. So, okay, so how much water is total in the reservoir to start? 8,000. You got to go. Oh, what you need? Oh, the final answer or just the answer to that question? Oh, okay, hold on. Uh, 8,250 gallons to start with. All right, what'd you do, Addie? I don't know. Beautiful. Okay, so this is how much was in the reservoir to begin with. We already figured out that over that 12 hour period, how much water did we let out? So if we take 5,450, as with you, um, and we subtract that, that's how much water we let out over that 12 hour period. How much water is left? 2,800 or 2,800 gallons is left. So, did we reach that shutoff number yet? No. No. Period. Period. Oh, yeah, my daughter yells at me all the time. Do not put period. Whatever. Okay. Assuming that she is sometimes. Assuming engineers do not turn off any pumps, how many total hours will it take? to the nearest tenth of an hour to drain the reservoir of all of its water. Dwayne. Okay, so let's continue. We know what's going to happen for 12 hours. For 12 hours, we're going to lose this. Yes? Right? Okay, this is how much is left. Assuming engineers do not have to find how many hours will it take to... Okay, so... What are we going to do? What are you going to do? Divide by what? 600. Why are we dividing by 600? Because that's how much it drains an hour. Okay, that's how much. They haven't told us any different. So we're going 600. Make sure you check with somebody in case I cross off any of the homework questions. Okay. So I'm going to reduce that. 6 goes into 28 four times. 4 and 2 thirds. Or 4.6 repeating. Okay, but have we answered the question? No. Yes. That's how many more it's going to take after what? After the 12 we've already done. After this 12. So I have to say, all right, 12 hours for this part plus the extra 4.6 
repeating. Oh, to the nearest tenth? Okay, we'll take care of that in a second. So 16.6 repeating. So to the nearest tenth, how many hours is that? 16.7 hours total. All right, let's look. You finish up. Let me look at the homework real quick and see what I uh, want or don't want you to do. No, you have four. Oh, yeah, but this is easy peasy, so I want you to do the whole thing. Can I type that in? I don't need to stay after Mr. Tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow is stay after day. Oh, yeah. And you're staying after so you can do the golden round assignment. Remember? Golden round. Wednesday's assignment. Oh, that okay. Never mind. I got it. Yeah. I might not go to truck tomorrow. Because I got yard work to do. You got what? Yard work to do. Oh, I'm paying landscape I have jobs after every day of school this week. Do you really? Yeah. I'm starting to put people off into next week. Because I'm getting too many calls.